Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to go over some, one of the most popular WordPress themes out there and that is Divi. Um, Divi comes as a really popular WordPress theme and it also comes with a builder component as well so you can really design uh, your website exactly how you want it without any kind of coding um, issues as well so it's great for people who don't have a background in coding but still want to have a professional and custom looking website. So let's get started. So this is Divi and Divi is a WordPress theme and visual build page builder created by Elegant Themes. It's really popular um, for businesses and individuals who want to create a professional looking website but without having to code. It's known for its ease of use, flexibility and a wide range of features. Um, Divi comes with a, um, with a 200, with over 200 pre-made layouts. Um, which can be used as a starting point for your website. So you can also customize these layouts as well to create a website that's unique to your brand. Um, there's also a variety of modules that you can use. If you go into features um, and you can see the elements here. Um, they have a lot of them, which essentially are a small piece of content that you can add to your website. Um, so things like you can add accordions, you can add buttons, uh, comments, contact forms, things like that. Um, Divi also includes a variety of design settings, so you can really control the look and feel of every part of your website. Um, it's a good choice for businesses, bloggers, and anyone who wants to create a professional looking website without having to code. Um, when it comes to pricing, if you go onto their website and just click on the pricing button, um, Divi is a little bit more affordable than some other themes because it is a one-time purchase but it includes lifetime updates. So a lot of the themes you'll find um, you only have, uh, you have to pay for a subscription um, and it's only for maybe like a year, two years, three years. Um, and that basically just means um, after those years, you will need to purchase for another year of updates. Whereas Divi is you just pay once and then you get the full lifetime access um, as well. So Elegant Themes offers two pricing plans for the Divi, Divi theme and also its associated plugins like um, Bloom and Monarch. Um, the yearly access costs $89 per year and includes access to all of the themes, including Extra, Bloom and Monarch. They have loads of website packs, um, unlimited website usage as well. Um, and this is the only one that doesn't have the one-time fee, um, but you do have premium support and lifetime access, the li uh, premium support and um, theme updates as well. And the lifetime access is the plan that's $249, but that is um, everything that Elegant Themes has to offer and it's a one-off fee so while it is quite a high fee you're not paying that every single time you pay it once and then you have it for the rest of your life that's access to all of their themes and plugins so you have the Divi theme and the extra theme but you can also use the um, Monarch and Bloom plugin as well lifetime updates lifetime premium support unlimited website usage um, for one price of 249 so it actually works out a little bit cheaper the lifetime access plan is a better value for long-term users while the yearly access plan is a better option for those who are unsure how long they will actually need the theme but both plans allow you to create unlimited websites so you can use Divi for as many projects as you like um, all you need to do was see once you've decided on what theme that you want all you need to do is click on sign up today and just fill in your uh, details to create an account and purchase one of the um, plans, whether it's yearly or the access or the lifetime access. Um, but once you have that, then you have access to the Divi theme and the Divi builder. So let's get started setting up with WordPress and getting setting up with our theme. Um, so. What we're going to do first is go over how to install WordPress on our local computer um, and that way we can really start getting into um, WordPress and designing it on our local computer as well and then we'll go over um, the uh, theme installation as well. So whenever you are starting creating your WordPress website you want to essentially create a local version of that website um, on your device. This means that you don't have to immediately start paying for hosting a website. Um, if you're not ready to, you can build everything on your uh, desktop 
or a laptop and still be able to get the experience of what that site will look like without having to pay any hosting experience and it also just means that um, it'll be easier to make edits to your website as you're the only person that can access it as well so while you're in the initial design stage you want to think about setting up a local site on your computer and the easiest way to do that is using local by flywheel which is a local wordpress development tool and it's basically designed to create test and deploy wordpress websites and it's available for both mac and windows it allows for easy setup, multiple uh, environments, easy deployment, um, and advanced features as well, um, like the WP CLI support, root SSH access, and the ability to host swap PHP environments as well. It's really easy to download and install. What you want to do is go onto the website. You just want to click on download for free. And you just want to click on your platform. Again, it's on Mac, Windows, and Linux as well. But you just want to click on whichever um, software works for you and then you just need to fill in um, your name your organization type and your work email and then it'll automatically download it's completely free you just need to fill in those details and then you can start uh, with local by flywheel so once you have your um, website your local by flywheel downloaded and installed It'll look something like this. So you'll have a section for local sites. So I already have this downloaded and a few sites set up. This will be zero if you're just downloading this. Um, and it's from here, you can uh, open your local sites. You can start them. You can connect to uh, your host um, and, uh, and deploy sites from here. They also have blueprints and they also have some add-ons as well. Um, in today's video, we're just going to focus on creating a new local website on your computer. So you just want to go into the local sites tab here. Um, and you can see we've got some sites here, but you'll have zero if you're just installing this. What you want to do is click on this plus button here and click on add local site. Now there's different ways to do this. You can create a new site. Uh, completely fresh WordPress install um, we can create from a blueprint so if you have a blueprint of sites with pre-installed elements and plugins and themes you can create it from that if you have an existing site to download um, you can uh, upload it as a zip file and then you can have it that way as well but we're just going to create a new site from the beginning I'm just going to give it a site name and you can give it advanced options as well like where you want um, what you want the site domain to be and what you want the local site path to be so where exactly all the files saved i just want to click on continue and what's really good about local by flywheel is that you can have um, custom like environments as well so you can choose which version of php you want to do um, which web server what database um, if you do prefer it it'll just use um, the most uh, up-to-date versions of everything but if you want to use a more custom version you can and then you just want to click on continue you want to give it uh, your wordpress username and password um, and an email Um, again, advanced options if you are a subdirectory or subdomain website, but we are just going to have a normal website and you're just going to click add site. Then the website will then start creating files and just installing a WordPress um, local file on your computer. So we have our blank WordPress install. I already have, um, we already have um, a theme installed. So it comes with the default theme, which is usually the most recent 2020 theme. So we have the 2024 theme um, and it's the most updated version of WordPress. Um, and I have Rank Math in there, installed in there, but essentially your, your WordPress install will come blank um, and you'll be able to have everything. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started installing the WordPress uh, Divi theme. So, uh, we just want to go into appearance and you just want to click on add new theme and you're just going to upload the theme and you should have this download uh, whenever you first purchase uh, one of the licenses and then you'll have access to Divi. So there's the Divi builder and then there's the Divi theme. You're just going to upload them one by one. So you can see we've got the Divi theme um, activated here. We're also going to go ahead and install the builder as well. So if you go into plugins, click on add new plugin and click on upload plugin 
we're just going to add the Divi Builder as well. So you can see we've got the Divi Builder activated here um, and you just want to make sure that you have the most updated version. But once you have that set up, you can easily start getting set up with Divi. So you can see here we've got the new Divi tab. And this is where we can actually uh, start customizing the appearance. Um, so you see here we can set up the logo, we can set up the favicon, and we can decide what kind of navigation bar that we have, the color palette. Um, and things like that. So it's really easy to just upload things. Just want to click on upload and then you just want to upload everything um, that you have. So we have the logo here and we can set up the favicon as well. Um, so we have all of these here. You've got um, sections for the navigation, sections for the builder, and these are all just theme options for now. And then you just want to save changes basically. So essentially how you want the theme to work. Then we're going to go into the theme customizer. And we're just going to go through all the settings here and get our theme set up. So we've got um, general settings and if you go into site identity, we have the, se the sections for um, the site name and icons, things like that. So we're just going to get that set up. And then we have the layout settings. So this is things like um, what kind of layout that we want. If you want a box layout or custom width. We are going to go for a custom width and we're just going to increase the width of that slightly and we're going to increase the gutter width as well. And you just want to select the accent color and this will be the main accent color that's used um, within your website. And you just want to keep going with the settings until you get what you want. And then we can select the typography and these are things like the font and the header size and body size. I'm happy enough with the header text and the sizing of it. Um, I'm just going to change up the links, link color and just get which one ever um, that I prefer. And then we've got the default themes as well and you're just going to go through and see which fonts that you kind of prefer. Um, you've got a split between header fonts and then body fonts as well. And then you can do the text color and the body color as well. Um, and then you can decide if you want a general background color. So we have the general settings done. Then you've got the header format, um, which is if you want a vertical navigation or if you want a horizontal navigation. We've got the primary menu and this is where we can decide sort of like the menu height, the, la the max menu height and things like that. And the active link color as well. And you just want to go through each of the settings and just make sure everything is set up how you want it. And then you can decide what social elements that you want as well. Then you have access to the footer as well, deciding what footer layout that you'd like. Um, if you want like a one section footer layout, four sections, um, and that way you'll change up your widgets as well. And you have the footer menu and you have the footer elements as well. And next thing you can change is the bottom 
is the button size and like the, all the button set settings and then you have the blog as well um, and you can decide what settings you can use for the blog and then you have mobile size as well and this is pretty uh, useful because it means you can really activate everything on mobile and look at mobile responsive designs and next thing then you want to do is the color schemes so this can help you choose a color scheme that's kind of closest suited to you and then we've got a menu so we've got a menu um, set up we just need to add pages to it so we'll come back to this and then we've got the widgets for our footer area so we set up a four container footer area so what we can do is from that we can add like blocks we can add like columns um, and things like that We go into our media library we'll add some images And you just want to build out those areas as much as possible um, until you find a section that you really like. And they have a space for additional CSS. That means if you wanted to really pinpoint a certain element and customize it with CSS, you can just do it in this section here. And once you're done, you just want to click publish to save your changes. Um, and now let's go in and add the menu so we have a working menu. What we're going to do is we're going to add a home page and a about page, a contact page and a blog page. I'm just going to add all the pages that we need um, and then we can customize them later. And that way we can go to our menu and add the menu pages. Let's just remove these for now. will be the primary menu here and we're just going to add all of the pages that we added and we're just going to make sure that we have them in the order that we want and we're going to save the menu and we've made sure the display location is the primary menu so it goes onto the nav bar so it should show up now yep yeah, so we've got the menu here and with the styling that we initially wanted which is really cool and we're just going to make sure that the home page is set to um, the actual home page and not the latest post. So we have our home page here and we have the post page here. So now, once we go to the home page, we can start using um, Divi to kind of build out some of the pages as well. Um, with the this is uh, not using the theme. This is mainly using the page builder. Um, but then once you have the page builder in, you can essentially use uh, Gutenberg to add in all your blocks and it'll take in the theme stylings that you have um, on your website. And yeah, so that's um, a really good way to kind of use Divi, the, the Divi theme as well.
So let's talk about some of the pros and cons of using Divi. Divi is quite easy to use. It has that drag and drop interface that makes it easy to create a website without having to code. And again, that's really using the Divi builder um, and not so much the theme, but the theme is really easily um, flexible. Um, it can be used to create a variety of websites from simple blogs to complex e-commerce sites. It's really powerful. It, can t it includes a variety of features, including 200 pre-made layouts, a drag and drop interface, and a variety of design settings. Divi is really affordable. It's a one-time purchase that includes lifetime updates and has a really large community of users and developers, which means there are plenty of resources available to help you use the theme. Some cons of Divi, um, there is still a bit of a learning curve, especially if you are new to WordPress page builders in general. Um, the problem with some of the page builders out there is that they have tend to have a negative impact on website performance, especially if you have a low end server. So a way to combat is this is to make sure that the hosting provider that you have um, are aware of the resources that's needed to run Divi on your website and to run Divi on their server. So we'll go over some um, hosting providers as well later in this video. So you have a hosting provider that works well with your website. But yeah, that could be an issue potentially if you um, are using Divi on your website. Um, not all WordPress plugins are compatible with Divi, but the good thing about that is that Divi um, elegant themes come with a lot of uh, plugins as well, including Bloom and Monarch um, to help you with your social media integration. Um, their customer support is slightly limited. Although elegant themes offer premium support, it has known to be a bit slow and difficult to get in touch with a support representative. Overall, Divi is a powerful theme and flexible WordPress theme um, that is easy to use for beginners and experienced users alike, but it's, aware, it's good to be aware of these potential drawbacks before using Divi, like the learning curve and the performance impact as well is really important. So now let's talk a little bit about hosting. Um, it's really important whenever you are launching your website um, that you choose a hosting provider that is suitable for your website needs and resources. So web hosting is can be one of those things that's overlooked whenever you're building your website. Um, but it's really important that you choose the best hosting for your WordPress website to improve your SEO, increase any sales, increase site performance, things like that. There's lots of different types of WordPress hosting options available, like free, um, share, dedicated, and then there's also managed WordPress hosting. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to help you choose the best uh, WordPress hosting for your website needs. So in terms of uh, WordPress hosting requirements, uh, WordPress itself is very lightweight and it's compatible with all good web hosting companies. Um, the simple requirements that web WordPress require are having a PHP version 7.4 or greater, a MySQL version 5.7 or greater, or Maria uh, database version 10.3 or greater, and it has to have SSL support. Um, due to the popularity of WordPress, all the best word, uh, web hosting companies uh, come with a an easy one-click install option for WordPress. Every WordPress ho hosting company that we have, um, or I've mentioned, is offers sort of full support for running a WordPress site. So to get started, um, the first thing we're gonna go over is Bluehost. So you can see the Bluehost uh, website here. Um, Bluehost is one of the oldest web hosts um, around. Bluehost is also a really la uh, large brand name when it comes to uh, WordPress hosting. Um, you can see here that they've got even a dedica dedicated section for their website hosting, managed hosting, things like that. Um, with Bluehost, uh, they're very good when it comes to making sure that they're, if you have a website that you know will get a lot of traffic, um, it helps uh, remove sort of any um, possibility of the website becoming slow due to that traffic. Um, website there also uh, have a 24-7 expert support. So if you ever need to either phone them, um, email them, live chat, um, it all comes within your hosting package as well. Um, for small businesses, they are rated number one. Um, on top of that, they are offering sort of WordPress uh, beginner users and exclusive 63% off discount or 70% off discount for new online store plans as well. Um, and they also come with the free site builder with templates as well. Um, you can see on the website, they've got different sort of pricing and plans. If you click into pricing and plans here, um, you can see what they kind of offer in terms of uh, hosting, um, dedicated hosting for certain plans as well, and their online store. 
Um, if you go into WordPress and click on WordPress hosting here, you can see a bit more as well. Um, this is their kind of plan pricing plans for WordPress hosting, and you would pick one that basically suits your needs as well. Um, so they their billing cycles go for uh, 12 months or 36 months. So you can switch between the toggles to see uh, how, what you're paying for, uh, depending on what billing cycle you've selected. Um, for 12 months, so like yearly, um, you've got the basic plus, choice plus, and pro. Um, with the, all of them apart from the basic, you get free hosting, you get the hosting for uh, an unlimited amount of websites. Um, so with the basic, you just get the, uh, the hosting for one website, whereas if you have multiple, then maybe one of the plus, choice plus, or pro would be better. Um, so you can see what they're ideal for it. Though. So plus is better for great, uh, for small businesses. Then you've got one for growing businesses and one for high traffic blog and businesses as well. Um, with the main differences between all of them, so obviously the number of websites that you can host with. Um, and then you've got the different uh, storage si uh, uh, sizes for each of your websites. So depending on how big your site is, um, things like uh, websites with e-commerce uh, built in onto it, um, high traffic, then you want to look at ones, ones with a higher sort of um, uh, gigabyte storage. Um, if you have a basic sort of brochure build website, then the 10 GB storage should be enough. Um, but again, the storage kind of um, depends on your own website needs. Um, they all come with sort of custom themes and they all come with a 24 seven customer support as well. In terms of the uh, other things that they include, so all of them include the free domain for one year. So if you don't have a domain already, you can buy one through Bluehost and the first year of that of that domain will be free and then you would pay for you know the years after that. You get a free CDN included and a free SSL certificate as well. Um, you also get with the uh, Choice Plus and the Pro, you get free domain privacy. And domain privacy is a service offered by quite a different number of domain registrars. But basically, when a user buys privacy from a company, they replace the user's information in the Whois um, document with the information of a forwarding service. Um, it just adds a few more layers of protection against uh, spamming, data theft, um, and like things like that. Um, the other things that you get is free automated backup. This is within the Choice Plus and the Pro as well. Um, and you can see with the Pro tools as well, you've got multi-site management. So if you have a multi-site, um, Bluehost do offer management for that specifically. Um, you also get access to a staging site. If you feel like this is yours, some of your sites will have um, will have a need for that. If you're constantly making edits to your site, it's always better to kind of do them on a staging site and then push those um, edits live. Um, and then you've got performance insights and then you've got plugins collections as well um, with all of these. So depending on the size of your business and your budget, um, it might be uh, that it basically would be enough or choice plus. Um, obviously that's the one that's recommended and also depending on what billing cycle you go for. So you've got the 12 months and you've got the 36 months. Um, obviously with the 36 months, um, there is a little bit more savings in that, um, but it's up to you basically how you want to uh, do all that. If you click on compare plans, you can see you've got a basic table view um, of what the differences between all of them are and what you're missing and what you're getting in terms of um, some of the payment plans as well. Um, with Bluehost, it's really good because they have 24-7 WordPress hosting report uh, support. So if there is anything that's ca uh, causing issues hosting-wise on your site, um, you, the Bluehost are on hand and equipped to give you any kind of support. And it's either by call or you can do a live chat. Um, so it's really important, especially if a hosting something that you're new to and you're not sure anything about that. It's important that the hosting provider that you choose um, is available and equipped to give you that support whenever you need it. Another really important feature of Bluehost is that not only does it have managed sort of WordPress hosting, it also has WooCommerce hosting. So um, sites that have WooCommerce, so any kind of e-commerce site would require a bit more uh, resources and maybe a bit more support as well because there's just a lot more going on. Um, so uh, Bluehost have their own kind of uh, plans as well for uh, WooCommerce um, plugins and WooCommerce, and WooCommerce enabled sites. Um, and you can see they go for one month, 12 months or six months, uh, 36 months. Um, and you can see what you get with all of them as well. Um, you get your top features, you get website analytics, you get more storage, which you would need if you're having uh, orders being placed on your site constantly. Um, you also get the free SSL and Yoast as well. Um, 
Yoast being the SEO optimization optimization plugin. Um, and then you've also got extra things like product search and filtering that you can add to your website. You can also add things like wish lists and bookings and appointments as well to your website. Um, powered by uh, YITH. So this is uh, just a third party uh, plugin provider for uh, WordPress, basically, that gives you additional features to enhance the WordPress on your site or the uh, WooCommerce on your site. Um, additional e-commerce features that you have are the daily backups. Um, you've got automated WordPress updates and you've got secure online payments and unlimited products. Um, and then with the uh, online store and the marketplace, you get basically multi-channel inventory, which means basically if you're wanting to sell not just on your website, but maybe you also want to sell on things like Amazon, um, Etsy, any other third-party platforms, um, the Bluehost, um, this plan here, the online store marketplace, um, will help you sort of sell across those stores as well. Um, so you know, if you know that that's something that uh, is suitable for your website and something that you're wanting to do, then um, one of these plans with uh, Bluehost might be the best option for you. What's also really good about Bluehost is that they have a blog and resource section as well. Um, this isn't just for WordPress websites, but they've got um, blogs for any kinds of website that you're wanting to um, build. Um, and how to optimize your site as well. So they've got a range of sort of resources that you can go through um, and improve your site in any way that you need to. And obviously if there's any issues that you're having with any part of your hosting or on your site, the chat feature is just here. Um, all you would need to do is just select the plan that you want and then pay for the plan. And then your site will be hosted essentially with Bluehost um, and any issues, obviously you've got the support chat um, to help you with that as well. Another uh, hosting provider that's very popular and common for um, WordPress websites is SiteGround. Um, SiteGround provide really unique sort of in-house wor WordPress speed and security solutions to make your site as fast as possible and as secure as possible. Um, they have really good 24-7 customer support, in, um, which is why they're an official WordPress recommended hosting provider. Um, with SiteGround, uh, some other features include uh, automatic uh, WordPress updates, daily backups, um, free CDNs, free email, things like that, um, free SSL, one-click staging. Um, they also have Git version control as well, um, which is really popular with developers. Um, all of that is all included with some of their plans um, on SiteGround. Um, they also um, feature automatic uh, updates as well. They also ha are one of the few companies that offer location-specific hosting. They've got six different data centers in the US, U Europe, Asia, and Australia. Um, so in terms of uh, site speed, that's really good because they'll pick basically a server that's closest to you know your where your uh, website would be based. Um, on top of this, they also have a 63% um, discount um, as well, or up to 75% uh, ultra-fast hosting as well. So to see their plans, all you want to do is go into SiteGround website um, and you want to go into view plans as well. Um, you can see uh, they've got three different plans. They've got Startup, Grow Big and Go Geek. Um, all of them are offering 75% uh, and a free domain as of right now. Um, you can do, so some of them go for $2.99 a month, $4.99 a month and $7.49 a month as well, which is slightly cheaper than the Bluehost uh, uh hosting uh, pricing as of now. Um, main difference between all of them is the number of websites. So both with the Grow Big and the Go Geek, you get the unlimited websites. So you can use this hosting for a different number of websites. Then you've got the actual web space. So you've got 10 GB, 20 GB and 40 GB. So depending on um, which or what kind of website that you have, if you have a basic kind of brochure build website and it's only one website, then maybe the startup plan would work for you. Um, anything slightly bigger, if you get a lot of traffic um, as well on your websites, then you might want to go for the Grow Big or Go Geek. Um, those are the kind of main differences, but all of them include free domain, free SSL, daily backups, um, enhanced security, 30 days uh, money back and add collaborators. And some of the additional things that you can get. So for example, with the Grow Big, you get the on-demand backup copies. So if you ever make a change to your website that you're not happy about, if you ever need a backup of a website, you get that, um, uh, you can create a backup for uh, first and then re revert to that backup if you need to. So you can get up to five on-demand backups at a time with their Grow Big and their Grow Geek uh, packages as well. Um, 
And then you also get 30% faster PHP with the Go Big and the Go Geek. And you get staging as well with the Go Big. Um, with the Go Geek, you get all of that. You get more uh, web space and you get more support for if you have more than uh, a certain number of 400,000 visits a month. Um, you get all the extras that you get with Go Geek, but then you also get uh, compatibility with uh, Git as well. So um, that can be really popular with some of the developers. Um, and you can also white label clients. And that's basically when you register your client's account on the website, um, your client won't see the Cycron logo or name or anywhere. So you can provide sort of white label hosting and make it a bit more professional looking on the back end. So when your client logs in, they just see what they need to. Um, you can get priority support. All of these include support, but with the priority support, they'll just get uh, get to you a bit faster. Um, but they all include support. Um, and then you also get sort of higher tier of resources. So this just means you get more resources uh, applied to that uh, website or to your hosting. And this can be good for bigger websites or bigger or websites that have e-commerce enabled onto them. Um, and you get free of private D DNS. This just allows you to choose a custom domain name for your own web servers and name servers. And it's nice because they can sort of brand yourself as if you host the site and not um, another third party. So it's a kind of a nice thing to have. Um, similar to uh, Bluehost, so they do have the different site plans. Um, but then it just depends on, you know, your site type, how much support you'd need, um, how many resources you would need on your website. Um, if you are someone that, ha if you do have e-commerce, I would uh, go for one of the Grow Big, better to go for Go Geek just so you get the more storage space, but you can go for um, these plans as well. If you click on compare hosting plans, you can see a little bit better what each of these offer. Um, and then, um, but you can always upgrade as well. If you go for the Grow Big and you realize actually you need to, a little bit more server space um, and you want the private DNS or anything like that, then you just upgrade anytime you want. And then you can upgrade to that. You can also downgrade as well. Um, so if you start off with Grow Big and you realize actually you're fine with just the basic, then you can always just go down as well. And then you can see sort of the different hosting plans as well. Um, you can see they do specialize in WordPress hosting and they specialize in WooCommerce hosting. So both Bluehost and SiteGround are really good for if you do have those kinds of websites. Because um, then you can ensure you've got the appropriate number of resources allocated to each of those. And you've got the... If you ever need support, you've got capable and on-hand support to give you any information and advice, anything that you need. One of the drawbacks that SiteGround does have over uh, compared to Bluehost is that they don't come, it doesn't come with a free domain. So if you remember with Bluehost, you get a free domain um, if you were to purchase one of their plans for a year. Um, so uh, SiteGround doesn't do that, but it does have a lot of other good features um, like the customer support, one-click WordPress install. Um, it does also have free website migration. So if you select one of their plans, um, you can see for a limited time, they do have a free site transfer that they'll transfer the site for you for free at no cost. Um, in terms of speed and performance reliability, um, you want to make sure that you know you're picking a hosting provider that um, accommodates for that. And SiteGround does have a very good sort of performance time. The average load time is always under sort of 500 milliseconds um, and things like that. It just doesn't have the free domain, but it does have the free SSL, and you've got the free support as well. Similar to um, Bluehost, you can see that they also have uh, their own kind of blogs as well. So you can stay updated with latest news and it just uh, kind of reassures you that these are a very kind of capable company um, that are up to date with the latest tech in terms of uh, hosting as well. Um, and you can read through all of these. If there's any uh, of these that you want to implement, um, if there's any issues, you can always go back to their support um, and go for, you know, anything that they're suggesting. Um, so it's good to know that this is sort of like a company that is trying to always be up to date with those kind of things. So similar to Bluehost, WetSiteGround also has that as well. Um, uh, if you go onto their about us, you can see the previous clients that they have. Um, and just some testimonials. So you can see sort of um, who they're kind of hosting and who kind of recommends them to kind of give you a bit more peace of mind. Um, and some success stories as well. So overall, SiteGround is also a very good kind of hosting provider um, that do offer uh, specific hosting for their WordPress and host, uh, WooCommerce users. Um, so it's important that you find uh, one of the 
uh, hosting providers that are specific to that and can give you support and can give you all of the um, tools that you need in order to make a good and host a good kind of WordPress or WooCommerce website. Another slight downside of of um, word of SiteGround is that there is limited storage. So their plans come with a fixed storage. If you look at their plans again, yeah. So there's a limited amount of storage that has, but their storage is quite large. So if you're just starting out, you're most likely not going to need that extra storage. Um, you can see as well they've got uh, different hosting plans for. Uh, WooCommerce as well. Um, same kind of pricing and same kind of options, um, but it's, they do come with e-commerce enabled um, and they have different sort of uh, options that way. Um, Bluehost might slightly offer more uh, different op uh, plugin options for um, WooCommerce website. Um, if you go back to Bluehost website and go back to WooCommerce hosting, you can see they've got um, these kind of extra functionality, if you wanted to add bookings and appointments, gift cards, uh, wish lists. Um, if you know those are the type of things that you're going to be adding or already have onto your website, then Bluehost might be a better option. Um, but both are capable of managing and handling WooCommerce websites. Um, it just depends on the feature wise. If you need anything extra, then maybe, uh, WooCommerce might be, or Bluehost might be a little bit better in that regard. Um, but SiteGround is also capable as well. You just won't get the kind of extra things that we come, that we host offer. But if you don't need those anyway, then um, uh, it, it won't really matter. You can go with SiteGround and it's still sort of a good option for you to have. The next option then is uh, DreamHost. So DreamHost has been around for maybe 18 years and it's known for making web hosting very kind of easy. You get your own kind of custom dashboard and like uh, SiteGround, you get one click WordPress install. Um, you get automatic WordPress updates, unlimited space, unlimited bandwidth, and free SSDs, which makes your site um, up to 200% faster. Um, Dream DreamHost powers over 1.5 million WordPress blogs and websites. They also uh, they are also unofficially recommended WordPress hosting providers, just like SiteGround. Um, they have similar sort of pros and cons of SiteGround and uh, um, Bluehost. So uh, if you uh, go onto the website and you want to see the pricing, you just go onto WordPress uh, here and then you just want to click on WordPress basic. And you can see there, um, they've got pretty uh, uh, affordable WordPress hosting. Um, they offer more billing cycles in SiteGround and uh, definitely Bluehost, so that you can go for monthly, yearly, or three years. And you can see sort of um, the price plans as well. Obviously, the more uh, Reoccur the less recurring your billing cycle, so example three years is going to come out as a lot cheaper. Um, their billing cycles and their hosting plans um, are split between sort of uh, WordPress Starter and WordPress Unlimited. Um, so this WordPress Starter is more for shared hosting um, with entry level price for new sites, including WordPress. Um, the main uh, thing with the WordPress starter is that it's only hosting for one website, whereas the WordPress Unlimited is for unlimited number of websites. Um, and then you've also, for both of them, you've got the free domain included. So that's something that's included with um, DreamHost, but not included, uh, and SiteGround, but not included with Bluehost. Um, you get the one-click WordPress install. Um, in fact, WordPress is actually pre-installed, so you don't have to even worry about that. Um, free domain and free SSL for both types of plans, and you have automatically uh, da uh, automatically uh, daily daily backups. Um, and again, they've got the three year, one year, and monthly plan, so they're a bit more flexible with their price mat price plan. Um, they also have email as low as one dollar sixty seven per month. However, in SiteGround and Bluehost, it's free, so that's a bit of a con there. Um, so there's no free email, um, but they also just have free automatic WordPress migrations as well, WordPress website builder, um, and things like that. You can sort of compare a bit more and you can see a little bit more of what you get. Um, both of them, you get the 24-7 ticket support and live chat, live, chat, live chat support. So you are talking to an actual person and any issues that you're having, that's something that they can help you out with. Um, neither of them offer kind of like a priority support. Um, so it's the same uh, amount of support as all of them. Um, unless you go for the three year, um, 
And again, you get the phone support callbacks as well, live chat support, um, but there's no kind of priority support as well. Um, but they do have a good sort of 24 seven ticket support system. Um, they are kind of known for their great customer service. And just like SiteGround, it is an officially recommended WordPress um, hosting provider. Um, so there is a lot uh, about DreamHost that people kind of, you know, uh, love and they're a good kind of reliable hosting platform to use. Um, a lot of uh, people who use DreamHost find it to be fast and reliable, and they have so far the most sort of flexible hosting plans in terms of the different um, uh, billing cycles that they have, even though they only just offer two. Um, and they've got, uh, they're known for their friendly kind of customer support um, and very capable customer support. Similar to Bluehost and Word and uh, SiteGround, you can see they've got hosting for WordPress Basic, and they've also got hosting for WooCommerce, um, and they kind of guarantee sort of good uptime, extreme speed, um, one-click staging, on-demand backups, and 24-7 expert WordPress and WooCommerce support. So it's good to know that the support that they're offering is specific to WooCommerce and not just WordPress websites in general. Um, You've got different sort of hosting plans, and again, they split between monthly and yearly. Um, you've got DreamPress, DreamPress Plus, and DreamPress uh, Pro. Um, mm -hmm. All of them uh, is for uh, the one one WordPress website. They all have a free domain included, um, and you can see what how many monthly vis visitors they're for. Um, all of them have unmetered. Both of them have unmetered bandwidth but then you've also got 120 gb ssd storage um so that's guaranteed to give you 200 percent faster performance if you know you're a high capacity uh what Wo woocommerce store there's a lot of traffic there's a lot of products and you want to make sure that you get something that has a lot of speed that offers a lot of speed um and yeah all of them have the uh jetpack also free and stored so it's like a plugin to kind of help you monitor your performance and enhance it everything as well um, then you've got unlimited CDN, one-click staging. Um, unlimited CDN is just for Dream++ Plus Plus and Pro. You don't get it with the Dream Press, you know, basic. Um, but you get the unlimited email and you also get sort of free automated WordPress uh, migrations as well. So again, it's another hosting company that has specific hosting for WooCommerce. So if you are a WooCommerce uh, website, then you want to make sure that the hosting that you're picking um, not only ha is... Uh, separate and is more specific to WordPress to WooCommerce website, but that the support that they offer um, is capable and you are able to get good support um, and technical information if you ever need it. Um, unlike the SiteGround is that it doesn't offer sort of multi-channel uh, uh, platforms. So if you wanted to sell to um, other platforms like Amazon or Etsy, things like that, um, they don't uh, offering much support for that. So SiteGround might be better if you know that's something that you want to do. Um, so some of the basic uh, pros of DreamHost is that they are award-winning hosting. Um, they're rated really high in surveys for the reliab reliability and tech support. Um, they do offer a money-back guarantee. Um, so they offer a 97-day money-back guarantee. That means you can cancel your account within 97 days of signing up and get a full refund. Um, there's free domain and privacy, so every DreamHost plan that you buy includes one free domain name registration plus domain privacy, so your contact information isn't made public um, on the website on any or any website. Um, the monthly billing, if you were to choose monthly billing, billing includes no sort of setup fee, um, and then you've got automatically daily backups as well, so they back up your site daily. Um, however, it's also recommended just to for users to set up your own uh, real-time sort of WordPress uh, backups. So that's just using uh, plugins like Updraft or WPL on migration, um, just so you have your own kind of backups as well. But it's good that you have, that there's a hosting company that provides daily backups anyway, so you have that on server support as well. Um, some of the cons, again, so there's no email. So DreamHost doesn't offer email accounts for the starter plan at least, um, but you can get it for 165 a month or use external I use an external uh, business email provider. Um, the other thing that is um, their support isn't immediate. So DreamHost has set times for live chat support and an email-based ticket system. That means it can take you a little bit longer before you get a support uh, a response. And 
compared to what uh, uh, Sightgrind and Bluehost offer, it's um, that can be seen as quite a negative. Um, in case there's any real issue, if you're not being seen to immediately, it can be quite frustrating. Um, so it's uh, really important that you know that if you are someone that kind of is new to hosting, um, doesn't uh, doesn't have a lot of technical background, that you are picking a hosting provider that has twenty four seven support and quick and fast hosting support. So if anything does go wrong, there is someone on hand to help you out with that. Um, so yeah, that's one of the, I, I would say, major cons of DreamHost is that it's not immediate. Um, in terms of performance tests, um, um, for f speed and stress tests, um, DreamHost rank ranks quite highly. Um, again, with the DreamPress Pro, you get that uh, 120 GB SSD, which will, um, which guarantees 200% uh, faster um, site, uh, s speed times. Um, the way their support and customer service works is they offer the 24-7 email support via ticket system. Um, so you can open a request for support through your DreamHost account da dashboard. Um, but they also offer live site support. But again, it's between the hours of 5.30 a.m. and 9.30 p.m., I think, Pacific time. Um, so it's uh, it's not as 24-7 as their ticket and also the way other um, hosting providers would be. Um, but you do get that option. You can also request a callback, but it comes with an additional kind of fee. Um, the live chat and phone support can be useful for simple can be useful for simple questions. Um, but if anything with more complicated shows up, then uh, users are kind of directly to open a support ticket anyway. Um, a lot of reviews mention the quality of the support, though some reviewers are frustrated by not having access to immediate uh, phone support. So if you're someone that you know will need to talk to someone or will need immediate phone support, then maybe um, DreamHost might not be the best option just because of that. But they do have dedicated uh, hosting for WooCommerce and WordPress. Um, they're very reliable in terms of speed and stress. Um, so it is a good kind of platform to have. And again, it's an officially recommended WordPress host hosting provider. Another popular uh, WordPress hosting uh, hosting provider is Hostinger. Um, they are slowly becoming well known in the WordPress hosting industry. Um, they offer uh, affordable hosting, twenty four seven live chat support, and a good platform to host your website. Hostinger comes with uh, one click. Uh, WordPress install, so similar to SiteGround, DreamHost, and Bluehost, um, and they come with managed automatic updates, enhanced security, free CDN, um, and things like that. Um, WordPress speed acceleration and free site migration as well is something that's kind of being offered. Um, similar to SiteGround, they also offer geolocation-specific hosting with a choice of seven data centers. So SiteGround had six, um, Hostinger have seven. Um, this includes data centers in the US, uh, Europe, Asia, and South America. Um, they uh, are a very popular hosting provider. They serve over 29 million users in over 178 countries um, as well. So they are very popular and they are very sort of reliable um, as well. In terms of the web hosting plans, um, you can see that they offer uh, three different support, uh, web hosting packages. However, unlike um, the previous hosting plans that we've seen, they only offer it uh, per month. Uh, as a monthly billing cycle um, and not so much as a yearly. So um, you can see you've got the single web hosting, premium web hosting and business web hosting. Um, so with the single, you just get a hosting for one website, but both the premium and the business web hosting, you get it for over 100 websites. Um, so just 100 websites. Um, and the other differences between them is that the amount of storage that you get with them. So you get 50 GB, 100 GB and 200 GB, depending on which plan that you get. Uh, similar to SiteGround, so there is, it can be an issue if they offer um, a, a limited amount of, of storage. However, they give you quite big amounts of storage. And if you're just starting out, you're not going to be needing so much storage uh, anyway. So it, it is a good amount of storage, but it is limited. Um, then you've also got the free email, but only that's only being offered if you get the premium or the business web hosting. Um, all of them come with uh, unlimited free SSL. They all come with managed WordPress 
um, hosting WordPress acceleration. That's to help kind of speed up your site. Um, and they'll have the website builder as well. Um, another good few pros that they have is that they all have Git access. Um, the main differences between uh, all of them though is just the number of websites, um, the unlimited database. Um, neither the web hosting or the single web hosting offer staging. Um, only the pro uh, offer staging as well. Um, you can sort of see payment terms here. Um, so they offer quite a lot of things, especially within their basic. Um, some things that might be a little bit frustrating is that there is only one email account. Um, other things that they have is weekly backups. They don't have daily backups unless you were to upgrade to the business web hosting, which can seem uh, a bit of a risk. So you can obviously set up your own uh, backups on, on your site if you use Updraft or all one migration, things like that. However, um, the server itself will not back up your site every day. It will only back up every week um, if you uh, have the premium or the single web hosting plans. If you use the business, then they will do the daily backups. Um, this can be seen as quite a big risk if you're only backing up your site once a week and you don't have any other backups. Um, but they do offer that with the premium web or the business web hosting anyway. Um, so the main pros I think for hosting it would be that they out of all of the um, hosting that we've seen so far, they offer the lowest price, um, albeit it is for monthly uh, pricing only. They do have an offer for uh, the first month, but then it goes back to $2.99 a month once you renew. Um, they also um, have optimized performance. They are known for really great customer support um, and the word, well, one-click WordPress install that's similarly offered um, to the other WordPress hosting providers that we've seen so far. They include a free domain um, as long as you pick one of the premium or the business hosting plans um, and free SSL um, on all of their uh, on all of their hosting plans. And a really good pro of the um, of hosting is that they offer the multiple data centers so similar to SiteGround where SiteGround has six data centers. Um, hosting has about seven. So that's, that would really help your speed and performance as well. The biggest pro I th uh, con I would say is the, the no daily backups. I think unless you are also doing backups yourself on your site every day, um, it's a big risk to only be doing backups uh, on a weekly basis if you're going for one of these two plans. Um, unlike the other WordPress hosting providers that we've seen so far, like Bluehost, SiteGround, um, and DreamHost, um, they hosting only has sort of one set of um, uh, one set of uh, hosting plans for all hosting type or for all WordPress types. So even the e-commerce plans or even the e-commerce website would fall under one of these plans. Um, so they don't have sort of um, anything specific to cater for e-commerce websites. Um, but they do have sort of the uh, free SS SSL and really good optimized performance. So it should be enough anyway for your uh, hosting website, for hosting your website, your e-commerce website. However, if you are looking for something that caters a bit more to uh, WooCommerce, Based sites, then it might be better to go for one of the other hosting providers that we've seen so far. Um, all of the plans um, have the uh, WordPress hosting for the uh, multiple data centers. So um, I think the performance, in terms of performance, is still really good. Um, um, Hostinger is a good hosting provider. It has reliable support and an excellent set of features. Um, so with the plans, you get the single um, shared hosting plan that includes one website, one email account. Um, it's good for up to uh, approximately one or 10,000 monthly visits. Um, but again, it doesn't include free domain name. It also doesn't include the unlimited bandwidth that the rest of the plans offer. Um, premium, again, just offers a bit more websites uh, to, that, allows you, that allow you to host um, 100 email accounts. Um, the SSD storage, um, and it does include the free domain name and free email and the unlimited bandwidth that the basic, the single WordPress doesn't um, offer. Um, the rest of the plans are more of the same. They just offer more of what's already been offered for the pre premium. 
Um, the, base, the main plan features are the one-click WordPress install and the WordPress website acceleration, the free SSL, the Git access, um, and the cloud for a CDN. They also have 24-7 live chat support and also each plan gets you access to their custom hosting panel. Um, the C panel is called the H panel and all the common features that you'll find with the C panel hosting providers can be found in there. Um, Uh, hosting uh, Hostinger provides 24-7 customer support uh, via their live chat, but they don't offer any kind of phone support. Um, their technical, but their technical support team is are well trained and they are available to help uh, when it is needed. Um, their customer success team offers support in English to their global customers, but if you purchase your hosting via one of their local websites, then you have the option to get customer support in the local language as well, something that isn't offered with the other um, hosting providers. Their customer support team can be very responsive and almost immediately with, immediate within the response time. Response time. Um, a lot of reviews report good customer experience when interacting with the support team. Um, and they're very sort of knowledgeable and they have a lot of step-by-step uh, -step tutorials themselves to answer very common as, uh, commonly asked uh, user questions. Overall, the main uh, pros of choosing Hostinger is that they have lower price plans. Um, so it's good for people who may just want to, who are just starting out and just want to uh, test out whether or not a web, web, uh, website would be good for them. They rank high, quite highly in performance. Considering the hosting and pricing, the performance and speed is really great. Um, and they have really good customer service, um, which is a huge help for beginners. Um, there are limitations in the plan. Um, so there's like an entry level hosting plan, low level hosting plan. Um, but as your website grows, you can always upgrade to cloud or VPS plans to get rid of those limitations as well. Um, and the main uh, con is that there's no daily backup. Their single and premium plans offer weekly backups. Um, but we, uh, again, it's always better to kind of make sure if you are using one of their basic plans that only offers weekly price uh, hosting or weekly backups, then uh, I would recommend installing a plugin like Updraft to make sure that you're getting uh, daily up updates, updates um, even there it is by yourself as well. Um, but other than that, Hostinger is also a really good option if you did want to, um, if you did want to uh, go over uh, another hosting website as well. Another possible option um, to kind of get uh, for WordPress uh, hosting is HostGator. So HostGator offer sort of ten, uh, hosts over sort of 10 million domains and it's also one of the most popular web hosts in the industry. Um, they offer the one click in WordPress installation, uh, uptime guarantees, 24 seven support. Um, so it is a good choice for a website owner. Um, they are probably one of the best ho uh, web hosting for businesses um, as well. So you can see they offer sort of WordPress hosting um, and you can see the pricing plans here. So um, there's an offer currently, but they do have introductory offers as well. And they've got three different pricing plans for starter, standard and business. Um, with the starter plan, you only get one site to host. St standard plan, you get two sites. And then business plan, you get three sites. And um, so unlike um, the other hosting plan providers we've seen, there's a smaller number of um there's a smaller number of websites you can host with, even if you are paying for a more expensive plan. Um, their pricing is a little bit more expensive compared to the other plans we've seen so far. Um, it's probably one of the highest ones that we've seen so far compared to the other hosting providers that we've seen. Um, they uh, all offer sort of uh, backups as well, 1GB, 2GB, and 3GB. If you click on all plans, yeah, you can see a bit more information. Um, all of them, you get the free domain, you get the free email, and you can see how many visits per month each uh, plan would kind of suit. Um, something that isn't offered uh, by the other uh, plans, uh, by the other hosting providers, but is provi provided with um, HostGator, is the 500 Google Ad Spend Match Credit. So essentially, if you spend $500 on Google Ads, uh, HostGator will match that um, and give you $500 worth of credit to spend on Google Ads. It's important to note that you need to spend the full $500 um, to get the to get the $500 credit. Um, but that is something if you know you are going to be spending a lot on Google Ads, then um, HostGator might be a better option because no other hosting provider um, that we've seen so far have offered that. 
they do offer the 99.9% uptime guarantee, um, one click WordPress installs, um, and they offer a 30 day money back guarantee as well. I think the hosting was a bit longer, but they, they had 97 days, but 30 days is also a good amount to kind of see how you deal with the hosting and test out the customer service and things like that. Um, to summarize, so HostGator is, HostGator is very reliable. They're very customer friendly, friendly hosting service. Um, and their 24 seven customer support is, uh, reviewed as among one of the best. Um, so it is a good sort of, uh, hosting provider for WordPress specific company, uh, WordPress specific websites. Um, so the pros would be sort of like the very reliable hosting. Um, it guarantees an uptime of 99.9%. So if you experience downtime below that, then you'll get one, ba you'll get back one month credit on your account. So they're very dedicated to making sure that your site is always up and running. Um, they do uh, offer a generous money back guarantee and they have flexible billing, billing periods um, as well. So you can choose between monthly and yearly. Um, longer billing periods obviously will get you more savings. Um, they also offer free migration as well. Um, so HostGator offer free migration services with all their new accounts. Their team will kind of transfer your website for you um, at no extra cost during the first 30 days of signing up. So you don't have to worry about migrating your site either. Um, the cons mainly would be that they are a higher monthly pricing than mm. most. Um, their monthly pricing is quite higher. Um, you can choose their annual plans as they do offer the money back guarantee. Um, but um, again, it's a lot higher than what we've seen so far. Um, they also have a lot of upselling, so you might see additional services like automated backups, advanced functionality. Um, make sure they're unchecked. If you don't need them right away, you can always add them for later when you need them. Um, their plan includes shared hosting, VPS hosting, cloud hosting, reseller hosting, and dedicated hosting. They also offer hosting for other website builder and app platforms like Joomla and Magento, but their main offering is shared WordPress hosting and uh, it's where most users would be using their platform. Um, the main good features is that they have the one, one install uh, WordPress with one click installer, free SSL, um, free email accounts and 24 seven customer support and the 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. Um, so HostGator do offer um, a variety of hosting plans that fit all budgets and requirements, um, and they're also very user friendly. It's important um, that a hosting provider that you pick has good uh, customer service, which HostGator has. They have a lot of good reviews. Um, they uh, are slightly higher, but they do offer a lot um, for what they what they are selling for. So depending on your price point, there are lots of um, factors to consider. Um, you need to consider what's most important to you. So if customer service is definitely something that's important, then you want to make sure you pick a um, hosting provider like Bluehost or SiteGround that are kind of known for their customer service and they have 24-7 customer service. And while whereas DreamHost um, has been known to be a little bit slow, if you like the idea, the idea of having a hosting provider to have multiple data centers and something like SiteGround or Hostinger um, would be really good as well. Um, so um, yeah, it's a lot to kind of consider. Um, as long as you know what's important to you, then you can sort of decipher between that which hosting plan would suit you the best um, and you can kind of go from there. Top three choices would be the Bluehost, SiteGround and DreamHost. They probably host quite a lot of uh, WordPress website installs um, and they offer a lot of support as well, um, albeit DreamHost is a little bit slower. Um, but all of them are reliable, all of them have performed well um, and all of them have good customer service in terms of very knowledgeable customer service um, and very easy to kind of understand guides as well. Um, so it's up to you kind of which hosting uh, provider you want to go for and what your limitations are, whether that's a budget thing, um, whether you don't need um, certain features and whether you do need certain certain features, it's good to kind of see what each hosting platform offers and then kind of go from there, uh, which one that you prefer. Other hosting providers um, that also offer fast and reliable hosting is would be like Ionis. All their plans include SSL certificates, 99.9% .9 uptime, and they have um, a lots of like themes to choose from if you're just starting to build out your your website. Um, 
even things like, um, for example, GoDaddy um, offer like complete hosting solutions for any website. Um, so they offer sort of web hosting with a free domain as well. Um, for any kind of website, including WordPress um, as well, they have fast loading times, they have uh, support for 24-7 on the phone and toll free um, and things like that. Um, so yeah, things to just kind of consider are your, your price point, what features that are important to you. Do you need a hosting provider that um, offer separate and more in-depth hosting for separate and more um, uniquely focused on like WooCommerce website as opposed to anything else um, and things like that. So and that's a wrap in our video today on using creating a website using the DV theme. Um, I hope you find this video informational and enjoyable. If you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay updated with all things tech um, and design and development, please give us a follow and subscribe to that notification bell as well. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below and I'll see you in the next one.